Eternity was in your eyes, a prayer of St. G. Judea below Samaria, above Idumea, and from the sea not far, and from eternity its portal, from this place we all have lived. Barren lands of abiding monopoly, all so gray and wide and solemn and silent under the endless sky. On, ever on, up to the bleak black hills and into the waterless gullies and through the rocky gorges, yea, Judea of the Jews. Some verdant valleys green as emeralds with huge haze-filled canyons and wonderful wind-worn cliffs and walls and its pale salt lakes veiled in the shadows of stark and lofty rocks. It was upon these lands you came to us. And in a time which all have heard, the evening of our destiny arrived. We go there now to see what did occur. A cock crew within the courtyard of the Sanhedrin. Peter is there, warming by the fire. A cohort of soldiers stomps through, dragging the Lord of all that is. And when the cock does crow, Jesus turns upon Peter, and who imagines every eye beholds his blame. And your eye we eyed, it holds such beauty, still a look so tender. The eyes through which we see God and the, are the same eyes through which you see me. My eye and God's eye are one eye, one seeing, one knowing one loving, a kiss of long and ever peace within your gaze. Your eyes are so intense, we want to look away or never look away, we can't decide. Your sorrow needed not to testify of us, for you knew what was in man, and there the mortal fear and shame was in the eyes of Peter. The look of Jesus comes, a flow of repentance, we have no other. You give us to repent. Then we must live it out. Then Peter left the courtyard and wept bitterly, driven by his cowardice, a thing you know of us, so that we are given faith with our repentance to turn to you for life. The assurance of your love does sweep all else away. The eyes speak a great language. With one look, words cease to exist. When in eternal lines to time we grow, so long as I can see, so long lives this and gives to us your life. And all our life comes in your eyes, all moments birth to death and gives us up to tears. We live among much savage eyes, and we which now Behold, these present days have eyes to wonder, yet seem lack tongues to praise. While this we must, within the life of suffering, see in our own the life you lived. Eternity was in your eyes. The eye of man has not seen, the ear of man not heard, his tongue to taste or heart to report what my dream was. A dream from long ago to know and live like Peter and believe no matter what has occurred. I shout what lips fear to say, confess the secrets of the heart. The eye is in itself a soul. Your eyes are full of language, for you had eyes and chose me. For Peter, this too was a transfiguration, for on the mount he saw your glory. And in the courtyard in your eyes, he saw the unimaginable love of God for us. And though this for Peter was but a moment, for as it is to come to the realization that the Christian life is all of repentance, not that we are to grovel before you. Your eyes are on all our ways. Neither we nor our iniquity is hidden from you. It is for us to see the beauty of your presence in and with us. Centuries ago, Elisha prayed for us. O Lord, open their eyes, 
And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about. Elisha, you are always with us, seeing us, loving us. Amen.